presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 354, Nasdaq's up 278, SP's down 78, gold contract down $29.80 at 1647 an ounce. We have silver down 75 cents, $18.16 an ounce, late sweet crude. Off 342, $85.69 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, down 13 ticks, trading 110.19, the 30 year off 27 at 123.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 975 ticks, trading at 113.337, the euro is at 97, the yen is out here at a price point of, uh, bingo, where are you? Of 148, oh my God, and the British pound is at 111. Pretty amazing, man. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that you had that huge day yesterday. You're pulling back into it. Now, what's intriguing here, when, we, when you pull back in, after a day like this, is that the you have option expiration so what's happening here simultaneously is that the option market makers are basically trying to get their not just the option market makers people are putting trades on and they're trying to get delta neutral so they got smacked in one way or the other okay that being said um you know we'll see where this shakes out we need it above the benchmarks that's for sure and we're not going to get that today what i do like today okay now i'm going on the aspect that we're still going to get a bounce here what i do like today is this when you have a day like yesterday and then you have continued selling down here today this that's where selling can abate that's that's the bottom line that being said the bottom line though is that you got to get back inside the range that's that's the number. You don't get back inside this range. If we don't get back inside this range in a couple of days, the 262, this thing's going. This thing's making the next leg. So this is going to be tricky, man. You know, if this makes the next leg without stopping, it'll be something else. And that that would I'll get to the dollar in a second, but that would mean that the dollar actually is going to blow away its swing high and make that run for 121. We take a look at the and the Qs and. Same setup. Now, the Qs yesterday had a hard time getting inside it, okay? They just about did it. They closed yesterday at, uh, yesterday they, so, oh, what is, do I have this on a daily? What do I have this on right now? I'll get it on a weekly. Hold on, let me put this on a daily. So, on the daily yesterday, we had the Qs close at uh, 270.17. And I believe it's 269 that had a close and it did it. Yeah, it was 269.28. So it had done it, best guess what, but it's not there now. And 
That's the number that has to go inside, 269.28. Because what you're going to see is that, yeah, you have lighter volume. We're going to have a volume today of about uh, 70 million, probably. So we're going to do mm, 360 on a weekly versus 409. You don't have that rejection, though. You know, oil. Oil market. You can take a look at this oil market. Bottom line. You know, this thing more than likely, let's see, 213,000 contracts. Come on, give me that volume down there. There we go. Okay, so that, that's, that's, you, you, that's light volume. That being said, though, I think this oil is going to come all the way back. So you're coming into 303,000 contracts, you get 214. You know, it's, it's going to get... Dangerous here. So look at this for a second. So the first first high was what ninety seven ninety one. Yeah. So this is the oils in a downtrend, man. I, I I brought this up yesterday. This is you get three higher. Well, you got more than three. I got. I mean, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. You get six lower highs, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six lower lows, man. You know. So. Oil wants lower price. That's that's the bottom line. Now, let's go over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. The dollar out here. Okay, so you're up 969 ticks. Started off this morning. You can see right, right away. The, the you know what's amazing thing here, too, folks, is that uh, the dollar started going higher at 9.15 this morning. That's when our futures are actually flat. And that's all it takes, man. The, the bottom line, you know, it, it's the dollar and the bonds that, you know, are going to direct us where the broad market's going to go. So let's go over to the, I want to go over to the bonds for a second, the 10 year. Look at this. It's going to bust through, man. It, it saved itself yesterday, but the 10 years, it right, it's right at the benchmark, which is 110.19. So that breaks that benchmark. It broke it yesterday, but came back inside. It breaks that benchmark. If we go look at how we're set up here with a... Put this on a weekly. Let's see how this is setting up right now. Ooh, look at how far you got to go back. Oh, man, I'm going to put it on a monthly. <laughs> this is this has gone down so fast, folks, that the bottom line, dailies and weeklies don't do it. Look at this. Almost a monthly doesn't do anything. Oh, my God. A 15-year monthly actually doesn't do anything to that chart, meaning that you can't look at the left-hand side of the chart. So we're going to go to 25 years. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see what's happening. Yeah. We're going lower, man. This is going to 104. Yeah. So you're at 110 right now. And guess what? Once you broke the 112, it's like 104 is wide open, man. That's going back to 2007. That's how this thing uh, seems to be set up. So that's going to be, no doubt, pretty intense. Um, that's for sure. Uh, XLE, a couple of targets want to take a look at. So let's take a look at the XLE. Okay, so yesterday we come up with volume. Couldn't break it. 8371, 8354. Yeah, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 386. NASDAQ's off 295. S&P's off 83. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. 
Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 413. You get the NASDAQ off 306. S&Ps are off uh, 85. And you get more sellings coming into the close out here, folks. Um, okay, so we were just looking at the uh, XLE. So... You had the XLE yesterday pushing into the swing, had volume as it pushed into the swing, giving it up today. Let's put this on a weekly. Let's see what we got here. It's 140 million versus 153 versus 127. Yeah. That's, that's not enough. So that's telling me it's going to stay in a consolidation. See, it's going through, it's going to try to get through this uh, 244. You know, if we look at uh, CVX, let me look at a few of those others, because I believe the XLE, I think the, it's Exxon and Chef, Chevron that are f almost 50% of the holdings in this thing. Yeah, it is. So it's 22, 30 to 42, 43, yeah. So Chevron, CVX. Same chart too, man. Yeah. I, I listen, man. I'd be careful in, the, in those energies, man. My, my take is that you know, those things are not going higher. So, if we take a look at, uh, let's see what this is. This is F I G S. Okay, so this is in the medical. Uh, they provide healthcare apparel, lifestyle brands. The low for the year is six dollars ninety three cents. The high is forty three. Um, I don't quite understand the. I gotta look at this for a second. Hold on. Wow. You wanna see something wild, folks? Okay, so picture this, right? This is, when I just looked at the PE, the PE is 50 on this thing, okay? Um, and I can, you know, it's like, okay, you get a, a, you know, a scrubs company, basically. But guess what? When you look at, they must have been buying some of something. When you, when you look at the acceleration, they're growing by, 
almost 30% of the year in the United States. The rest of the world, they probably just started. They're growing by 200%. Um, the scrub business is 363 million and the non-scrub is 56. Okay, so let's take a look at this because guess what? Healthcare and those folks are never going away. That's for sure. And okay, we'll put on a weekly. I see, okay, so 690. There's not much here, man. That's the real bottom line. Um, you know, it's getting lighter volume as it's coming down to the 690, you know, so this week it got to 720, near at 770. I just be careful, man. That's, that's the real bottom line. You gotta be pretty careful on that. Uh, there's no, there's no doubt about that. Let's go to Earl and Seminole. Hey Earl, what's going on? Hi, Tommy. Good to hear from you. You too. How you been, man? I'm blessed to the Lord. Yes. <laughs> that, as, uh. You know, many of us would say we're above ground, right? <laughs> yes. I'd like to get your take, Tom. Inflation is running wild, and gold is headed for 1600 I know. Can you give me a little take on that? Listen, man, <laughs> I that's about as whopped as you can get. I agree. You know, there's no, there's no doubt. And, you know, what does happen, yeah, let me put this up here for you, because... This is gets, watch what happens here, folks. So this will get interesting. I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the continuous chart up. And gold is priced in dollars, in US dollars, okay? So the bottom line is that, you know, the dollar keeps going up, gold keeps going down. Now, that being said, watch this. When I put this, I'm just gonna, I'll put this on like a, a two year weekly or something. So you can see it, what's happening here, what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to change the currency. Now, this is not going to help you and I, Earl, but I just wanted to, to see what's happening across the world, okay? And then if mm -hmm. we turn around and we say, okay, well, put that in European terms, right? What you're going to see is the bottom line is that, you know, it's not quite the same. Well, right now, that would be, well, the high, the all-time high is not, let me see. Some, yeah, let me make sure it's the all-time high. Hold on. 2011 is probably the all-time high, but I want to see if... Okay, well, no, this is how it shakes out, okay? So the bottom line, you can see this is in Europe, and this is way over. So our all-time high in gold is 2011, right? There's, mm -hmm. there, I mean, it's working over there, you know? It's working in other currencies. That's the bottom line there, you know? If we take this, watch this, if you take this and put it in, let's see, we'll put it in the pound. Do the same exercise here. You can see, look at it, you know, it's almost, it's, I mean, pound-wise, it's all the way up there. Now, you know, I suspect what will end up happening is that the dollar is going to pull back at one point, and when that, that's what we need. That's, that's what it comes down to, man. That's what we need, you know. So, um, yeah, it's laying there, and there's not buyers. There's buyers across the world, but that's still not enough to get it up where, you know, you and I and who's ever into the metals market thinks it should be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me meaning a store of value, you know. Is the money flow into Bitcoin hurting gold? I don't see that. But what I do see, I was asking Jacob about this, okay? Because, you know, you, you've seen Jacob on here with Best Fit a few times, folks. And, you know, he, he's, he's, he's a bright young man um, with, you know, great education. And... You know, he's out with 24 and 25-year-olds all the time, right? And they, don't, mm -hmm. they are not into gold. There's no doubt about that. Now, does that mean less demand? I'd say, yeah, it means less demand. But I can also say this, <laughs> is that it really, so when there's less demand, the price is not going to go as high, right? That being said, I suspect by the time that they end up, let's say the younger folk you know, are not into it, and as far as they're concerned, it's not, you know, value. I don't think in the aspect that actually we're talking about that that is what's stopping gold. I think what's stopping gold is that the dollar is almost at all-time highs. You know what I mean? If we look at this dollar, I started, so picture this. This is how, this is how, yeah, well, actually, this is another way of looking at it. Now, watch this. So I started the gold report when 
the dollar was at the 121 and gold was at $282. So there it is right there. There's that 120. There's that 120. So mm -hmm. it's like, to me, that's saying it's going to be game. Now, the last time that the dollar was at that, gold was only $282. You know, the low was $252.50. You know, so when you're looking at that aspect, it's doing what it probably should do, meaning that the dollar is just that high, but guess what? Gold is that much higher. So we need, Earl, we need buyers. That's the bottom line, man. Yeah. Sad but true. Well, be blessed, Tom. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. It was a great question, folks, because there's, there's no doubt. Because if you're a gold believer and you believe in value, to me, that's it, man. Ten tons of dirt to make one ounce of gold, I'll take it all day long, man. Stay right there. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 292. Nasdaq's off 282. S&P's off 73. Let's go to uh, yeah. Keith and Cedar Rapids. Keith, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Great. Ready for a good weekend? Hey. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Good. I can't wait. Um, hey, listen, I got a question for you. I know you have the option show and all that. Yes. Um, what I'm trying to do is come up with some strategies to uh, protect um, downside, like all the way down the ladder. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, if you go all the way down the chain, okay, I just don't know much about options, so I'm, I'm, I'm out of my element. And I wasn't sure, is that is that a call-in type thing or uh, – yeah, 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 hold on. We can resource. So, so you've, ne you've never traded options, right? Right. So when you say you want to protect it, you. you so what happens when you hedge? Th there is definitely a way that you can go delta neutral, and what that means is that you have on the left hand side of your balance sheet is what you have. Okay, 
then mm -hmm. in, in, in the account right now. And then the right-hand side, what ends up happening is that you're really buying insurance. And you're buying insurance for a certain amount of time at a certain price that what would end up happening is that because you own whatever you own, the when you go delta neutral, the price you pay for that protection would be what it costs you for insurance that whether it went down or went up, okay, mm -hmm. that you would still be at one price. That's how, that's, that's basically how it works. Okay. You know? Okay. So, so let, let me ask you this. It's, yeah, this is, this is a tough one to answer over the phone anyway, but, um, yeah, the, you, you definitely want to, okay, so, so let me ask you this. If we, if we look at the S&P, right, how, right. how far do you, do you want to protect yourself on the S&P? Well, what I was thinking is, um, kind of like what, what you've been saying down 3,100, 3,200. Okay, I got it. Yep. Right. Um, and then if we get a worst case scenario, even further. Okay. You know, hopefully these things don't even pay for them. You know. Yeah, I, no, no, I'm, I'm with willing you. to make I'm the sacrifice. Uh, but the problem is, I don't know. I'm not educated enough to yeah. know what price. What do I have to spend to cover so much? I'm with you. I know. I know. You know. I so, do. Why don't you do this? Just send me an email. So send me an email, ob1 at tfnn, right? Um, and if you can put it, put it, I need a dollar value that you're trying to, just put a dollar value you're trying to protect, okay? And I really don't want to, uh, this is a tough one, man. <laughs> I can show you how to, how to, how to, you know, hedge it, but it's like, oh. I, mean, I, can, I could buy inverse ETFs too, you know, but I'm, I'm trying to think of multiple ways to do this. And um, the easiest, I, I, just so you, the, the easiest way to do it is that you're just going to buy protection inside the S&P and see what, what's going on today. So this is what I think is going on today, which is going to be really cool just in the conversation. So what happens when you get a huge expansion on the way up, right? And you can see mm -hmm. that we have pressure on the way down today, right? Well, I suspect right. this pressure on the way down is actually... People, just like yourself, and they said that most of them are going to be professionals that are protecting their portfolio again. And what's, mm -hmm. what's happening is that because we got, you got the rule happening, you get all this in the option market, is that when, let's picture, if I'm buying right now, if I was buying protection this morning, right, let's say in the S&P or the NASDAQ, right, as soon as I'm buying a put, and I'm not talking about a put, here, watch this, we'll bring this up, I'll bring this, this, this up, how this works, okay, so... I'm bringing up the, the scale, okay, inside the Qs, right? So let's just say that, you know, the Qs right now are 261, right? So what ends right. up happening, let's say that, you know, you, I want to go out to December and say, okay, I want to protect myself till December. Well, if you go over to the, you know, basically the 261 area, it's going to cost, well, there's not a 261, there's a 260. What would end up happening is it's going to cost me, you know, 14 uh, yeah, fourteen hundred dollars per thousand doll per thousand shares to protect that. Um, yeah. Let me show. Sure I get that right. One second. Well, oh, because that's fourteen thousand actually. It cost me fourteen thousand to protect two hundred. It it cost fourteen thousand to protect two hundred and sixty one thousand for approximately only sixty days. So you can see. Because the volatility is so high, that's pretty expensive, yep. man. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. And that was the other component. You know, with volatility being so high, am I, am I silly to even attempt this? You know? Yes, right um, now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now yeah. let now let's switch gears. Now let's switch gears. Let's say that we turn around. Now this is where you're putting up more cash, but what you are doing is you're, and this is where in the inverse world, you can turn around and you're getting a few of those inverse ones, right? Mm -hmm. And that, what that is doing is that that is delta neutral on it, you know, close, right. meaning you could do an inverse, just a one-to-one, -one, I'm talking, not, not a two-to-one, 
okay? Just a one-to-one. -one. Right. You just, you buy the one-to-one -one SPY, you buy the one-to-one -one Q on the downside, and then you add delta neutral right down there. And you're trying to do about the same, mathematically the same amount of bread. Right. Yeah. That would be the most efficient way of doing it. You know, but you're gonna, you just so you know, you're gonna end up driving yourself like it's pretty intense what you're trying to do. <laughs> no, it is. I know, I know. <laughs> no, listen, it's good. It would be, it's, it, it, you should learn it anyway, but I can just tell you, because then what the battle is, is this. So I put it, you get an update, oh, should I take it off? Should I put it on? Take it, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know, yeah. I've been struggling with that. I, I just, you know, but I figured I'd come to the source, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, and I wish I had, you know, better answers for you um you know you, you can do it um give me that email anyway okay because i'm uh, let me just i'll think this over we you, you gotta and i guess th th there's there's no way around it right now because the vix is so high that premium is is up there man i mean that was that's yeah. that's quite expensive for 60 days do you know what i'm saying i know yeah yeah i get it yeah. Well, hey, I appreciate it. I wish I had a better answer for you, man. Have a great one, Keith. Yep. You too. Thanks, Thanks man. Time. Let's go to Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on? Hey, how are you, Tommy? Wait I'm... a minute, i got to shut you off on this other thing. Oh, I'm doing fine, thanks. You? Good, man, good. So, good. Good. we got the KRE, so... which is the uh, S&P uh, Regional Banking ETF. The low is uh, 60, no, the low is 56, the high is 78. And yeah, so do you own this, Frank? What I'm looking at is, it, what I'm looking at is uh, it's been in this downtrend and it's broken the 50 percent in the 618. Yep. Uh, the downtrend began in the, the middle of August. Uh, yesterday, it broke up through it. It broke up above ice. And right. Today, it seemed to come back to ice with lower volume. Um, and the last swing high of October 4th, it looks like it's going to beat that volume. Of course, the price is pulled back. So it looks to me like it wants to go back to the bottom of the consolidation, but what do you think? And stay right there. I like this trade, Frank. Yeah. This is... You do? Okay. And I, I'm used to this this ETF, man. This is this is a strong ETF, man. You know? Uh, stay right there, though. I, you picked it out. when you pick, See the volume this week versus last? There's no doubt. You got... 40 yeah. versus okay. 35. This one's higher price, Frank. Stay right, right. there. Come right back. Stay right there, folks. Right. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials down 310, NASDAQ off 290, S&P's off 77. And I suspect what we're going to see probably pretty soon, folks, is Raphael Bostek, the Fed... Uh, uh, Reserve President in Atlanta is probably going to get canned because the bottom line, they're coming out today that uh, uh, he, this just came across the, the statement, okay, that his personal financial managers made trades that ran afoul of the central bank rules that uh, Powell opened up an investigation. Um, and uh, it, it goes like this, okay. His statement is, I take very seriously my responsibility to be transparent about the financial transactions, avoid any actual or perceived conflict of interest. Well, the bottom line, you start reading this. Yeah, he's blaming his um, financial advisors, but the bottom line, what he didn't do, I think if he had put it in, what he didn't do is put the trades in, and he's claiming that he didn't know that he also had to do that. We're talking with our man Frank from uh, Gloucester, and we're talking about banks, man. We're talking about uh, the KRE. Um, I like how it's set up, Frank, because this we know this market is tricky right now, man. Um, but I yeah. like how this is set up because, to me, this is saying that, yeah, it does want to try to make a run up to the, the highs of 67, man. You know, I mean. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been clicking through. I've been clicking through my list of charts for almost 100 uh, banks that are in this uh, KRE. Yes. Uh, most of them are not inspiring me very much. I found one. Uh, CFR that uh, I kind of said, wow, that looks great. But in general, they all look kind of tepid. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Listen, man, what, what's going to happen, let me just pull this one up here. What's it created? What's OZK is doing? This is my bank down here. Now, this, this bank here, well, this is good looking, actually. That's good. So let me just look at this for a second. Because this, okay, so check this out, Frank. Now, this, this is OZK, right? And OZK, yeah, Bank OZK, and this looks like it wants okay. higher price, man. And um, you know, yeah. I happen to know this bank. I mean, I don't, you know, just because you know they're very aggressive. Um, and that's still that chart's not bad, man. You know, I mean, I think these regional banks are going to do all right, they you know, because. They don't hold mortgages anymore. Do you know what I mean? They sell well, some banks do, but if they hold the mortgages. Like OZK does hold the mortgages, but what also happens is that you really have to do business with them, and they know everything about you. Okay, when they're holding a yeah. mortgage, um, that's you know that's like when you and I were kids, Frank. Do you know what I mean? It's it, that's a different relationship, folks. And most times, those relationships aren't going to go south because the the bankers themselves actually know where you work, you know how much you make, and, and, and yeah. they just not going through computers, you know what I mean? So, Yeah, that's what a lot of these look like. They look like the OZKs, or a little bit worse. This one looks pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They, yeah. Listen, they're all going to be, I mean, I'm sure you saw the, the interest income that J.P. Morgan made this morning. Margin income was insane. All these banks are going to make huge, you know, because they're still not yeah. giving a deposit any money. I, look, I don't even think, I, I mean, you're talking about pennies, right? <laughs> And, yeah. you know, we know that the rates went up. I mean, you know, they're charging more money for everything. Oh, and yeah. I got to bring this up. Stay. So check this out, folks. 
You know, I've been talking about, Frank, uh, mortgages, right? And yes. the amount of points I happen to see, I'm, I'm closing a house today. Someone's buying one of our new houses, right? So I had the settlement last night. Check this out, folks. This is Rocket Mortgage. And I, this, the buyer is a high-end deal, period, right? Guess what? Yeah. 1.75 points. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you're dealing... We have some real problems in that mortgage market, man. I mean, it, that that's amazing. So that's to, to understand how that mortgage. goes, folks, 1.75, okay, is $1,750, you know, bottom of the line for, per $100. I mean, per, yeah, but that'd be per, per, per 100 grand. Um, yeah. It's big money, man. It's big money. And that's going to be paid up front, folks, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you very kindly. Okay, man, you have a great one, a safe one, Frank. Yep, bye-bye. The uh, Let's go to Zillow for a second. So what, what's going on with Zillow, too, uh, you know, Zillow's trading at 26 right now. They came out with their numbers. What do they come out? No, November 2nd, they're coming out with their numbers, right? So with Zillow, this is going to be interesting. Let's, let's look at this for a second because this is how Zillow is going to be. The, Zillow has a new business plan. <laughs> And the business plan that they actually have, this ain't gonna work either. Oh my God, look at this. Zillow wants to go all the way, go back down to 20 bucks. So check it out, folks. We know, yeah, that's March of 2020, man. So what, what had happened is that Zillow went into the iBuying, right? The, they've lost the fortune on the iBuying business, right? They, they were smart. They, they listened, they, they took their cut, and that's huge because if we go over to Open Door, watch this. We go to Open Door, Open Door Technologies, which is still the eye buyer. They're going to lose so much money they can't see straight. I mean, it's going to be the biggest disaster in the world because they didn't get out. And that's because that's, that's their only plan, okay? And if you take, yeah, they're going to go out of business, man. This is Open Door. This, we went from $30. It's, yeah, there's nothing on the left-hand side. They're going out of business because, this, this, yeah, let's look at this quick. This is, like, insane. So their revenue... Yeah, 14 billion. So picture this. This is the way to do this. This is pretty cool. So they have 14 billion dollars in revenue this year, right? You could take that 14 billion, folks, right? Well, let, let's say they're saying they're going to lose 60 cents. I'm going to do the numbers on this quick because I got to see this because this is right up my alley because I know this business upside down. So, okay, 60 cents. So they're saying 60 cents. They they're going to take in 14.7 billion. Okay. Did I say 60 cents? Okay, lose 60 cents. Okay, so then we got to see how much, okay. Um, okay, where are you? I'm looking for, there it is right there, 1.5. Okay, so 1.5. No, 1.5 million. Yeah, 1.5. No. Oh, I, okay, 628 million. Sorry. There we go. Sorry. This uh, be two seconds, folks. We got to see this though. This is cool. Well, watch. Watch where I'm going to go with this. Okay. So come on, come on. Come on. Okay. So 628 times 0 0.60. Okay, it's 373 million. And then I'm going to take 14, I'm just going to take 14 times 25, 3.5 billion. Yeah, they're not even close. They're going to lose at least, they're, they're saying they're going to lose 376 million. They're going to lose at least 3.5 billion. Because when you take, when you look at these numbers, folks, so watch this. When you look at this, see this 14.7 billion? You can take 25% off of that, man. Every house that they're buying, guess what? They're losing. They're, they're, they already got caught in the squeeze. They already have it. Buy, see it, don't want to be a. Dow Industrial's down 297, NASDAQ off 289, SP's off 75. Come right back, folks.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And when I, uh, the end of the story on Zillow, and I forgot what I've got to sell with. Was, okay, so Petra, Zillow got out of the buying business, right? Because we just went to open door and they're, they're done, okay? But Zillow got out of the buying business, right? Then bottom line, took a hit, but get out of it. And guess what, folks, though? They got into the mortgage business, okay? They're getting into the mortgage business heavily. So what Zillow's trying to do is this. They're going to have to make it through the next two or three years. What they're trying to do is that they're basically, they have taken over flat out. If, if there's any rentals in the United States, folks, Zillow has them all now, okay? Because this is going to be Zillow against all the, uh, the uh, real estate agents. So they have all those for sure and have the, in spades. They don't have all the sales yet because they, they have the premium agents. We were, I paid for being a premium agent for a while. It wasn't worth it, so we got out of that. But now what Zillow's doing, they're doing a, an on-time, the way that they're looking at it is this. You go to look in Zillow at the house. As you look at the house, they're gonna have a little clock that's going around. When do you wanna see this um, house? They, they just bought a company called Showings, okay, which all the agents use, so now they have that. You hit the button, bang, that opens. Electronic keys, the whole ball of wax. You know who's going in. Then they're going to do the mortgages on top of it. Great plan on the way up, not in a mature market. We, you know, it's past the mature market now. It's a market that wants lower price, but you get the gist of it. So Zillow also is going to have some huge problems, you know, next two or three years. They'll, they'll make it through it. I'm not, Zillow, Zillow's not going to go out of business. They would have been out of business, I bet, if they didn't get out of that, if they didn't get out of that uh, number. Oh, and look at the number. Look at the number, the, the difference. The, the next quarter is like, you can see how they've been getting out of the business. They, they, they lucked out, man. 
the first quarter, 4.3 billion, last quarter, 1 billion. Next, next quarter, 459 million. Now it's gonna be back to advertising. They get back to the advertising model, guess what? They'll, they'll, do, they'll do fine, you know? Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning, man. I mean, this is quite a week, man. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.